Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and today we are checking out Scooby Scooby Doo, Where Are You? That's not the whole title, it's just Scooby Doo, the live action movie. I think this is directed by James Gunn, or James Gunn has a role in creating this movie, which is so fascinating to me, but I have been a big Scooby Doo fan growing up. I watched the cartoon quite a bit, but I never got around to watching the live action movie. I think there's this one, and then there's a Scooby Doo 2 with this cast, and I'm not sure if there's any other live action movies, I think it's just the two of them. But basically, I don't really know what these movies are about besides Scooby-Doo, which is a mystery show. So I'm assuming we're gonna get Scooby, we're gonna have Shaggy and Velma and Daphne and Fred, and they're all gonna be running around trying to solve a mystery. And I'm just kind of hoping for a really fun time and a good time and a cool twist villain, because Scooby-Doo always has the, I would have got away with it and without you meddling kids, you know what I mean? They always have that. So I'm hoping we have that in this movie as well. Maybe I'll try and guess who the killer is. Well, I say killer, but it might not be a killer. It might just be like some dude, you know what I mean? I don't know who the villain of this movie is going to be. And yeah, if you want to check out more of my reaction, you can head to my Patreon, where I have uncut and early access reactions to my movies and TV shows that come up to three weeks early, as well as exclusive Patreon live streams, movie polls, movie reactions, and so much more. Thanks so much for checking out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, I'm pretty excited for this. As a childhood Scooby-Doo fan, let's get this mystery machine. What am I trying to say? Mystery machine back on the road. That's what the, the van is called, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoy my reaction to Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh my god, the laugh. Okay. I was just about to say I want to hear the theme song. Where are you? The case of the Luna Ghost. What the heck? Jinky Scoob! No, not Daphne. Oh my Please. god. Jinkies. <laughs> she said it. Brits are here, Mills. Shockingly, Daphne's been captured again. <laughs> Scooby will pop out of the barrel. Oh my god. Activate the conveyor belt, spilling the vat of oil on I hope this movie doesn't take itself seriously. <gasps> Alright, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, his tail's on fire. <laughs> Scooby Doo! <laughs> What are you doing? Dude, this guy's the best Shaggy of all time already. <laughs> like there is a ghost right behind me, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was made to play Shaggy. He's only said like two sentences. Oh my god, awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is not working very well, guys. Okay, here we go. Oh my days. It's like Anakin on Geonosis. It has the same chaotic energy as the cartoons a little bit. I love it. Oh my days. Seems like the ghost is physical. Probably just some dude in a LED costume. I'm so over this damsel in distress nonsense. Uh, oh my god, go Daphne. I'm not a skateboard and like do it again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the mystery machine. <laughs> well, who is this woman? Good looking guy. All right, nice to see you. Who is this? His girlfriend? Quality, ecologically friendly action figure. Fred, what's the secret of your success? Team Who is this woman, by the way? Is she an actual celebrity? Is she in fact? No way! Oh no! How could you, Pamela? Oh, my. Is Pamela Pamela Anderson? That watch. Oh my god, what the heck? Giving the Luna Ghost? His glow. His weightless appearance. Oh, never mind. Yes! Dumb. I'll get you for this. He said the line! Okay, so we just ended like a cartoon episode. I wonder if this movie's gonna change up the formula a bit. That would be really interesting. Can't believe you'd say that to me. Oh, please. You come with your own ransom note. Oh, my days. What's the ascot? <laughs> hey, you guys, look. I know I'm just the dude that carries the bags. But it's oh, Shaggy, you're more than that. I mean, we're just like a big, delicious banana split. Fred, you're the big banana. Oh, the big banana. You really put it in perspective for me. 
I quit. No, Velma. No quitting the mystery gang. Now, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I quit. Oh my god, Fred. No, everyone don't quit. I'm out of here. Good riddance. No, guys. <laughs> Are they still here? Oh, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The movie knew what it was doing there. Everyone knows that Shaggy is a stoner. Come on. That has, it has to be true. I'm looking for a Mr. Rogers and a Mr. Do. The detectives? Mr. Do? Oh, hi. Sent by my employer, Mr. Emil Monteverius, to invite you to his world famous amusement park, Spooky Island. Oh, we don't. You'd never go to an amusement park called Spooky Island. And we can provide you with free airfare. No thanks. Room and board. Uh, no thanks. And all you can eat. Oh, that's where we go. Oh, he invited the whole gang back. That has to be Fred, right? New haircut, new style. Velma, same haircut, same style. Velma? Are, are you going this way? See, I always thought that Scooby-Doo, like, the characters were teenagers. But I guess they're kind of adults, aren't they? Friend systems. But, more importantly, I'm on a journey of self-discovery. Nice, Velma. Service to Spooky Island. I wonder if they'll kind of change roles in this movie a little bit, you know what I mean? I can't have seven carry-on bags. That is- Ah, uh, maybe not. Daffy is still Daffy. What the heck are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Immediately talks to them. How are you gonna save yourself when you get caught? I'm a black belt now. I've transformed my body into a dangerous weapon. Well done, Daphne. <laughs> it's true. I'm actually excited. She's gonna be doing some backflips. <laughs> Even the kids. No one is stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old brother? Oh my god, Fred. Fred oh. Seven, seven, four to Spooky Island, now boarding. Listen. Bro, the airport is called Spooky Island? The place is called Spooky Island? That's insane. Only if Fred and Velma do it. People are watching, Shag. No, oh, Fred. Everyone wants to do it, but they don't have the, the balls to do it. You know what this movie feels like? It feels like a Disney Channel movie. In a good way, that's a compliment, but it feels like a Disney Channel movie. Oh. Thanks. You're welcome. Bro, he's so tall though. Wow, I'm sorry. My allergies are. It's usually only dogs that do it. Uh, well. With her old pal Velma. Mm -hmm. Right, Grandma? Okay. Aw, Scoob. I like that Shaggy's our main character. I know they're for dogs. They're 100% vegetarian and. And I love him. She's eating Scooby snacks. I'm Mary Jane. Like that is my favorite name. Really? <laughs> uh, Grandma? Val, Val. I don't think I've ever heard Scooby bark before. Scooby? Hmm? Oh. See? Oh. <laughs> Deserved. Okay, you know what? This looks pretty sick, actually. I take back everything that I said. I want to go to Spooky Island. <laughs> Mr. Bean is in this movie. Getting up to speed with it. Mr. Bean is in this movie, guys. This movie is already 100% better. I'm Emil Monteverius, the owner of this amusement park. You're Mr. Bean. I'm calling you Mr. Bean. Oh, I can go... <laughs> claws and everything. <laughs> it can be fixed, and therein lies its potential. And I need you to fix Spooky Island. Oh, it's not spooky enough? Can you notice any difference between those arriving and those departing? They look like sober... What the heck? Are they robots? Carol's Meads. Brad? We've known each other since we were like three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why not just close the island if you think people are getting spelled? Weirdos running around. Uh, no. <laughs> it's enchanted island. 
is a thoroughfare to the supernatural realm. What the heck? They're all chanting. By building a theme park here. So is this guy against his job? Or is this part of the job? Revenge! It's actually really cool. If it weren't for the holographic projectors. There and there. Okay, that's really cool still though. I got a call for a Mr. Do. Uh Melvin Do? His name's Do. Oh? Got a bag of uh hamburgers here for you. What who is this guy? Walk into the dark, shadowy part of the forest where no one can see you. Oh my days. Love that song! <laughs> I think being good at Cream Machine is way cooler than friends. It is, you get free things all the time. No Excuse me? Dang it! What are you doing? Now I have to start my voodoo ritual all over again. <laughs> that chicken's not alive. I know that chicken is not alive, smart little girl. What well, do you figure it out when you saw it didn't have a head? <laughs> do not, I repeat. Do not go into that spooky island castle. <laughs> so you know what we're gonna do? So you told me not to go to the castle. Okay, yes. So I would go up to that castle. Movie logic, let's go. Trap to capture me. Oh, damsel in distress. Huh? I'll find out what you're hiding in that castle. You watch. What in the world? <laughs> I love Daphne right now. I love that she's thinking about her damsel in distress persona, you know? Thank you. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Why are you chasing him like a gargoyle? What is that? It's been really nice. Oh, good catch, Shaggy. What is going on? I think she's setting. I think she's the one. You know what I mean? She's the villain. Too charmer, you think to set you, but there's a guy inside who follows you every time you turn around. All the time. Oh, did you hurt your paw? Would you do it for a Scooby? A Scooby snack? Oh my God! Oh hey! Scooby snacks must be so good. See, that could be a man, that could be a man, they could all be just dudes. Yeah, Robo creepy. The only thing missing is a mindless zombie. Oh my god, and then Fred appears, perfect timing. Oh, it's some weird footprints up here. It might be dangerous for you. If anyone messes with me, I'll just open a can of- Oh my god. <laughs> They're all here, I love this. There, and Shaggy and Scooby, do whatever you guys do. Yeah! Look at this, huh, Scoob? It's like a medieval sizzler. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks great. Oh. Oh. Ew. Poor Daphne's all alone. No! Look, I'm a man of substance. The dorky chicks like you turn me on too. <laughs> Fred, man. That <laughs> you tell her, Fred. <laughs> Oh my, watch out, watch out! Oh, I got back you, lovely school! Free room now for the main course! The sausages are attacking them! Imagine dying from a length of sausage. Do what we do, best school! What the heck is that thing? That looks so cool! So do you! Bro, he, he was so mad about that. Oh, 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 well done, Fred. Oh, do they kind of like each other? Reminds me of the time we tried to eat the guy in the hot dog costume. <laughs> what? Like that happened in an episode. Oh, boy. Lights, camera. Yeah, what the heck? This is like a TV set. And don'ts. Interaction between young people. It's the set that they're on. Hey, sorry, bro. 
I will crush your bones into dust! Don't do that. No big whoop dog. Yo, would you catch that new vid on the box? True oh that. my I'm god. On all popular trends. Oh my god. This is the TikTok language for this generation. That's awesome. The Papa Smurf figure. One of the various. Mm. Then why would he have invited us here? Yeah, it's not him. It's not Mr. Bean, bro. Where's Daphne? Is she at a spaceship or something? Mm. Oh, don't take it! Why would you ever take something on a pedestal? Has she not seen Indiana Jones? Are you challenging me? Never challenge Shaggy to a burping contest. You're in trouble. Oh boy! Oh, I hated that sound. Oh my god, rocket ship! Ooh, what's this smell? Oh my god, that is awesome. Oh my god, that is awesome. Sink, the venom has gone far. He's dying. How did they get in the costumes? That is awesome. The movie needs no explanations. <laughs> the movie does not need to explain itself. They just they just got into those costumes. I love it. We have three suspects as to who's behind this evil hoodie. Nagu Tauna. He believes your theme park when- It's not him. I think it's Mary Jane. Shrewdly tricked me into going to the castle. It's not him. And you. It's not him either. I'm gonna get to work translating these inscriptions that Daphne found. I'll go research cults on the net. Aww. Teamwork. Oh, he knows the artifact. He's just a player in this game though, I think. I think there's someone above him. And I think it's Mary Jane. Old race of creatures. These inscriptions are reminiscent like of ancient gargoyle, pandemonious yeah. text, so I can make some of it out. What, you could read that? Certainly. Really focusing on a mystery reminds me of the old days. Oh, I can't wait to see this. We were quite a crew. The song? She was the coolest girl at Coolsville High. Fred. Oh, he was so handsome. <laughs> he knew how to accessorize. Yeah, the red bandana thing. He has one nut. Ah, scrappy, no. Scrappy do. Not Scrappy. Rock him. I'll suck him. Scrappy for the thousand. Bro, I'd throw Scrappy out of the car. Dose up. Puppy power. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The time has come that you appoint me your unquestioned leader. Either that or I. Yeah, get out of here then. Me. People adore me. Do they? I'm as cute as a power puff girl. I'll get my own TV show. <laughs> I'm as cute as a power puff girl. That's awesome. I tell you, there are no such thing as ghouls, ghosts, goblins, or monsters. Now listen up. Fred, what are you doing? Absolutely no such Break thing. It. Yes! Oh, Fred's gonna be the damsel in distress. Fred is the damsel in distress. The design of them is pretty cool. Oh my god, Velma. Maybe it's not Mary Jane because she just dove over that bar. Go on! Oh my god! Not Mr. Bean! He said the line. He said the line. <laughs> oh! I can't lie, even though Scooby-Doo and these things look pretty aged, the actual animation for Scooby-Doo, like the dog-like animation, as well as the integration with physical objects, really well done. No way. Oh, ow. Save Fred and Velma. Well, that's sort of like my plan. We just get the heck out of here and let the creatures eat Fred and Velma. <laughs> now it's our turn, Shaggy. Yes, the Daphne. First time, they're the damsels in distress. No, I like this. 
I don't got this. Who are you calling? Who does she know that can help with this situation? You meet him at the pier? Uh-huh. Alright, they'll be right there. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny for no reason. That was so good. I love that. Something messed up is happening. What? Is the Coast Guard here? No, it's totally clean and spotless. What the heck is this band? The Frosted Tips? You know exactly when this movie was made. Go this way. And we'll go with you. Aww. Uh-uh. Daffy, don't look at his eyes. He's casting a spell on you. Fred? Yo, yo, the Piazza. Fred? What up, dog? And, uh, dog? <laughs> Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Okay, spook? Spook? Scoop. Sorry, not spook. What the chicken? <laughs> This movie is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scoob and Shaggy on ATVs? How awesome is this? I just saw my friend back then. There's something wrong with her eyes. I hop on. No, she is the villain, right? She has to be. Ah, uh, Scoob's having the time of his life. Oh my god. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> Wait, what did I say? I don't think she's the mastermind maybe anymore because I think there's gonna be a twist. But she's evil! I'm whipped? Oh yeah? Well, why don't you say that to my face, man? Well, right, right now! Okay! Two shots, me and you, me and you again! Oh my days. Friends don't quit! Nice, Shaggy. Nice, Shaggy. Where are you? Oh, he said it again. <gasps> Mystical pot of jellyfish. Shaggy! What? Their heads? Oh, thanks, Shaggy. Oh boy, am I glad to see you. That is insane. Jinky! Oh! Oh, they don't like sunlight. They don't like sunlight. Okay, that's good to know. Why don't you start taking a whole bunch of heads out and just start giving people their souls? I know. But I'm still the best looking protoplasm get here. I mean. <laughs> I'm coming, good looking! No! No, Fred's just a head! Thank you. Sorry, I'm uh, looking for my friends. But... Just throw them! Just keep throwing them, bro! Daphne, you okay? Yeah. Oh no. But I'm not Daphne! Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Ew. Oh no, Daphne and Fred have switched bodies! It's not easy to steer when you're pure spirit. Hey. Oh my god, Fred. Self naked. Oh, brother. Oh my god, Fred. Tell me you guys are you. Fred keeps touching me. Kind of makes you nostalgic for the homicidal creatures, doesn't it? <laughs> Yippee for you. Man, like, why am I wearing a dress? <laughs> and you randomly changing bodies until. Oh my god. <laughs> until what? I'm me. I'm back. Like me too. Told you so. Okay, that was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. I'm glad they didn't overdo the joke though. Hey you! What are you doing? Yes. That is masterful. <laughs> Why does this guy keep doing voodoo? Legend has it. Once the Darkopolis ritual is performed, the creatures will rule on Earth by ten. Well, who's a purely good soul? Scooby-Doo? They can't do the ritual without a pure human soul. Where in the world are they going to get one of those? I didn't say human. Oh, it's going to be Scooby-Doo. 
Oh boy. He's so pure and innocent. Look at him. <laughs> this guy's not the main villain. The movie wants me to think that, but he's not the main villain. Then that person is the one who brought Scooby here. He can't be the main villain either, can he? Scooby. How are Scoobit. you, my friend? No way, Mr. Bean's actually the main villain. Some more of those. Mm. Ray! That's me! Oh. Very important job for you. Watch that! That's a cat with a bobbing head. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice. Rarakarize? <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, baby, let's go. I'm gonna eat myself a Scooby snack, and I'm gonna save my best pal. Okay, Shaggy. Giving me my own nickname, trying to make me feel like part of the gang. You are part of the gang. You never let that stop you before. And if that's not a true hero, then I don't know what is. Okay, Fred, finally something good. Let's get jinky with it. Yes! Yeah! Go team, let's get jinky with it. That's a great saying. I'm going to start saying that. <laughs> Oh my god, they're getting really jinky with it. They have zip lines and everything. Skull. The creatures will explode. I'll find Scoob and we will have, like save the world. That's actually a pretty sick plan. You shaggy bastard. All systems go. No, Shaggy. No, Shaggy. Oh, that really did not work. Dress up. Dress up as him. Okay, this is kind of awesome. Okay. Dude, it's like a Zumba class. <laughs> no way, she's singing the Macarena. And back it up. And back it up. And back it up. You know what? He tried his best. Behold the sacrifice. Sacrifice? Now look. Who's who's your best buddy? Raggy. Aww. Ruby Doo. Aww, Ruby Doo. Let's run out of here, screaming in fear, like a couple of lunatics. Okay. Okay. On the count. <laughs> He's so down. One, run, two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ray, He's so innocent, dude. He's so innocent. Power shall be mine. Nobody absorbs my pal. Go on, Shaggy. Oh. But he didn't expect that. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the heck? He's a robot this entire time! What the heck? Scrappy-Doo? Is Scrappy-Doo? Scrappy's the villain? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He means Melvin do. Dude, the plot twist I was not expecting is Scrappy Doo. I will give it to this movie. I didn't think about that one. He was right in front of you. He was right in front of you. Go on, Daphne. Oh, go on, Daphne. Dude, the song. Go on! Go on, Fred! Oh! Bro, this is actually sick. Watch out, Daffy! Pile driver! Oh my god. You know what, though? I'm glad I guess that she's evil. I bet his breath is so bad. 
Oh no! Not this time. Go on. Go on, Daphne. Oh my god, nice. Now who's the damsel in distress? Me? Yes. Straight up. <laughs> Bro, straight up is a cold finishing line. Oh my god, look at that. This reminds me of the Kingsman finale. Crush you like Take his soul, take his soul. Bad Go on, Shaggy! Look at Shaggy, he looks like a DJ. He looks like a DJ of destiny. There we go, the kiss we all knew was going to happen. Although I think Fred and Velma should be together. You're fogging up my glasses. <laughs> oh my god, Velma. Freddy! Aww. I love you, Raggy. Aww. You Scooby Doo. My little swiftum whiffum. Brooks. Ah. He's like, okay, I like her now. Fred, can you tell us how you solved the case? Yes. No, Velma did it. And uh, and I really think the Velmster should take it from here. Yeah, Fred, there we go, man. Manity. <laughs> I got no way with it too. If not for your peppering system. Oh my God. Now that Miss. Oh my God, this movie is on the precipice. You know what I mean? Solving mysteries, I'm in. man. I'm in. I'm in. And kicking butt. Yeah. The island finally came through with its all you can eat meal, and there's nobody. I Screenplay by James Gunn. There we go. Full piece of pizza. Mm. Face gets red. I want smoke to come out of his ears. Scooby Doo. You feeling okay? Yeah, there we go. I wanted to see the smoke out the ears. <laughs> Scooby Doo, if he was on Hot Ones. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Well, Garcon, let's get two more. Oh my God. <laughs> Craziest credit sequence of all time. Now that movie was really fun. I mean, it's kind of like a bad movie, but I really enjoyed it at the same time. You don't take this movie seriously. You just have fun with this movie. Some of the effects were very dated, but it was fun. Come on, guys. It was fun. And cool to see our Scooby-Doo characters in live action with a, a little bit of a different take on the characters as well. A little reversal of roles, if you will. So I quite liked that. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a very fun movie. And that was my reaction to Scooby-Doo, the 2002 Scooby-Doo live action movie. And I had a really fun time with this movie. I don't think this is the best movie ever made. I actually think that this is kind of a bad movie, but in a very good way. If, P if you guys are familiar with movies, you know that there are different categories of movies. So there are really good movies. There are movies that are trying to be good. Uh, but maybe aren't you know there are movies that are trying to be prestigious there are movies that are bad and just not fun and then there are movies that are bad but fun and this movie i think falls into the bad but fun category because i mean i think that this movie is a little bit messy at times it's quite messy at times and i i it's i don't know there's something about the way that the movie just kind of unfolds that i wasn't necessarily a huge fan of but on the other hand I was a huge fan of this movie, and I know I kind of just contradicted myself there, but I love the way that they did the characters. I actually quite like the characters. Now, I haven't seen Scooby-Doo in a while. I watched Scooby-Doo when I was a kid a lot, but it's been probably about eight years since I've watched anything Scooby-Doo related. So in that sense, I'm not too familiar with the characters anymore, although I did know the general personality of what everyone was supposed to be like, and the movie kind of gives that to us again at the very start, summarizing all of our characters, you know, Fred being this 
guy who's so obsessed with himself, who everyone like loves so much. Velma's the smart one. Daphne's the damsel in distress, and Shaggy and Scooby are the stoners. <laughs> well, Shaggy's the stoner, but you know what I mean. They, they even the movie makes a joke about him being a stoner when he's in the van. You see the smoke coming up, and you really just think that he's smoking weed. You know what I mean? And the movie makes you think that, and then it goes down, and they're cooking like a sandwich or something. I know what the movie was trying to do there but the movie does give you a little rundown of the characters at the start but I also knew what these characters were like but since I'm also not super familiar with them I'm not sure if they were done justice in the movie but to me personally I thought that they were done very well I thought each actor embodied the role great especially the actor for Shaggy he was born to play Shaggy there are some roles that people are born for and this guy was born to play Shaggy he was amazing as Shaggy as well as the person doing the voice of Scooby-Doo I thought was really really good but I also enjoyed everyone else like the actresses playing Daphne and Velma and the actor playing Fred I thought they all did a really good job I think the thing that I liked most about this movie were just some of the role reversals that happened and you know you see at the start of the movie and you see in the cartoon all the time every character is kind of the same if you watch any of the cartoons it's you know it's like one of those shows where it's just boom 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 it's episodic you know what i mean so you don't have to keep you don't have to watch the first to last scooby-doo in order you can just pick uh, pick and choose and you'll know exactly what's happening you know exactly the characters there's not really character development in Scooby scooby-doo so you know daphne's always the same and velma's always the same and shaggy and scooby are all the same and fred's always the same but i like that this movie broke the formula we got to see the formula at the start of the movie i like that the start of the movie was like the end of an episode of scooby-doo i really like that it felt like a cartoon everything that was happening it felt like a cartoon and then we go into it and we see after an episode ends you know we see the gang talking and i was like oh this is kind of cool we see like when an episode ends we don't see this stuff so i kind of like that and then they all split up because of their egos and then they get back together about five minutes later when they all get called to the island but i really liked that in that time they were trying to work on themselves a bit they were trying to be a little bit better they had changed a little bit which kind of made the dynamics very interesting because it's not one we're used to in scooby-doo and then as well i just liked what the characters like daphne doing the karate i liked that she actually did it in the movie. I like that she wasn't a damsel in distress in this movie. I like that Fred and Velma were the damsel in distresses, damsels in distresses. I thought that was a really fun twist. I also thought it was interesting that Scrap Scrappy-Doo was in this movie. I don't really remember Scrappy-Doo too much from the cartoons. I remember him being annoying and that's about it. So him being the major villain of this movie was a really, really fun twist that I did not expect. I thought it was going to be that Mary Jane woman the entire time just because she was kind of getting close to Shaggy and stuff and she's kind of someone that you wouldn't really expect. And she was evil. She was possessed, but she was evil. So I guess I got that she was evil, right? But I never would have guessed it was Scrappy-Doo. When he came onto screen halfway through the movie, I thought it was just a little like Easter egg segment. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, guys, look, Scrappy-Doo, because then he like sat down. He's like, no one, you know, I can show everyone. I'll get my own TV show. I thought that was just like a little discussion to the audience, if you will, breaking the fourth wall about Scrappy-Doo. Maybe the audience consensus about Scrappy-Doo was that no one liked Scrappy-Doo at the time. I'm not quite sure, but I know I didn't like Scrappy-Doo in this movie. Not just because he was the villain, but he was also majorly annoying. He was like very annoying <laughs> to put it in the way shaggy would say it i also like this movie just by vibes alone and i'm not sure what it would have played out like in 2002 but now in 2024 which is actually 22 years 22 years since this movie came out that's actually incredible but now in 2024 this movie feels like a peek into the past a window into the past i know you can say every old movie or every movie from any era feels like a peek into the past but this feels like big peek into the past you know what I, mean? I don't know why just you see everyone with frosted tips the way this movie is made the soundtrack of this movie the visual effects what they look like right now everything just pointed like you would watch this movie and in the first five minutes know exactly that era that this movie came out in you would know that this is early 2000s you would know that this is early 2000s and i cannot tell you why it's the frosted tips it's the music choices it's just the way that the movie is written the chaotic cartoony energy of it the dialogue that is spoken the lingo that is used i loved that training video that was happening in the movie and they were using the lingo of the kids today and it, <laughs> i was like dude it's like when people use the tiktok lingo now for kids today 
but back in 2002 it's like millennial millennials using this language you know what i mean i just thought that was so fun i could understand it obviously i wonder if people couldn't understand that like watching the movie in 2002 if you're like a grown-up going to see it with your kid and then you went and sat down in the movie theater and they had that part i wonder if you would understand it or if you're like what is this lingo guys you know what i mean but i thought that was kind of cool as well as the way characters just spoke in general like daphne said i'm going to search something up on the net no one says that anymore but in 2002 I'm, I'm assuming people would have said that. So I don't know. I just liked, it felt very nostalgic, even though I was only one years old in 2002. It felt very nostalgic to me for some reason, because I feel like I kind of grew up at the end of this era. You know what I mean? The end of whatever styles and phases the early 2000s brought up. I kind of was brought up in school around the end of that era. So it's a little bit nostalgic to me and also just a really fun era. It just is very cheesy to me and very entertaining and I like this style a lot. So yeah, I think I'm going to end my reaction and review there. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. I know that there's a second Scooby do movie out there. I don't know what it's called, but I know there's a second live action one. If this video does well, slash if there is interest in me watching the second one, I will definitely watch it. I do have an interest in watching the second one, but if this video doesn't do well, or slash there is no interest in me watching the second one, then I will watch it on my own time at some point. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.